Hey everyone, Sean Tierney here from the automationschool.com and in this episode we're going to talk about the new features of Connected Components Workbench version 11 which was released sometime last week or the week before last and um, let's get right into it. So let's look at the new features first. So they've added support for the Micro 870 including the 24QWB model and the 24QBB model. Now there's also a new expansion IO power supply module that allows you to add a total of eight modules instead of just four to the right side of the micro 870 so that's also been added that's the EP 24 VDC and they've also come out with a new memory module um, to support the increased memory of the micro 870 so that's the MEM BAK dash RTC 2 now in addition to that they've added some new instructions. Um, several instructions for the MOT-HSC plugin. That's a motion high-speed counter plugin, um, including the instruction HSCE, HSCE underscore config, HSCE underscore config uh, PLS. Then they have a read status and a set status. They also added a couple of instructions that um, are really there to support MicroLogics migrations. So instructions we had in the MicroLogics that weren't in the Micro 800 and weren't easy to replicate you know, in code. And those two instructions are the LFL, or LIFO load, and the LFU, or LIFO unload. And uh, they also added another uh, instruction just for that new RTC2 uh, memory module for the 870, and it's the RTC underscore read2. All right, so now let's scroll down here and take a look at the improvements with the installation. Uh, the installer has been updated to match uh, the updated installers and the other products, including the ability to record and play back the installation you know, choices you make from the user interface itself. In addition to that, the installer now installs the MicroLogix to Micro 800 conversion tool as well as several spectrum controls expansion modules, including the IF16C, the IF16V, the IF8U, and the OF8. Now, the MicroLogix to Micro 800 conversion tool has been expanded to support additional MicroLogix controllers. As you might have saw in my video last month, it was only supporting the MicroLogix 1000, even though it had a picture of the MicroLogix uh, 1200 in it, it was only supporting the MicroLogix 1000. Now it supports the 1100, the 1200, the 1400, and the 1500. So that's good news. Hopefully that doesn't mean the 1100, 1200, and 1400 are being obsoleted. The uh, 1000 and 1500 are already, uh, already gone, but uh, hopefully they keep around the other three MicroLogix. In addition to that, they've added some features to the Guard Shield 450L safety light curtain. So it now supports the 450L-E. And they've expanded the PanelView 800 design station part of the software to include support for 65,000 colors, to uh, provide categories in the symbol library that make it easier to find things. And it now also supports font and screen saver downloads to the terminal. So all welcome features added to the product. Now, as far as advanced features, they did expand the module profile tool to support plugin modules and expansion modules from third party Encompass partners. They also expanded the Micro 800 fault diagnostics so that the diagnostic view will show the last seven recoverable and the last seven non recoverable faults with POU locations if available. And when it comes to UDFB and UDF local variables, there used to be an error if you had more than 128. Now that's been eliminated and you have no limit, you know, other than memory, you have no limit now on how many local variables you have in your user-defined function block or user-defined functions. So now let's go take a look at corrected anomalies. There's really two big ones here. Um, the first one is more of a, a, you know, quality of life issue. If you don't have the current programmer updater installed, and install it with Connected Components Workbench version 11, it will only check for new updates every 30 days, not every single day. Now, if you already have the current updater installed, it won't change how it functions. 
However, if you do install it with this, it, that's a nice quality of, of life improvement because you don't need to check for updates every day. Now, another thing that they've did in CCW 11 is make ladder logic branch execution no longer depend on the order of the parallel branches. This makes CCW 11 and the Micro 800 act more like micro logic controllers. And you can see an example here in the release notes that kind of cover this. But the takeaway here is if you do convert a program to version 11, then the new project's execution of parallel branches will not depend on their order. It'll be more like the MicroLogics, which is a good thing. Now, if you want to know about the known anomalies, uh, any functional changes, as well as uh, application notes, you can find them all here inside of the release notes for CCW11. Just go up to Rockwell's website, go to the Product Compatibility and Download Center, search on Connected Components Workbench, select it, and then click on the Release Notes icon. Now, if you have any questions on CCW, feel free to ask me over at my free forums, theautomationforums.com. And if you know anybody who wants to learn everything you need to know to program a Micro 800 using CCW, including uh, integrating uh, Micro 800s with uh, VFDs and with the PanelView 800, check out my course over at theautomationschool.com. And with that, that's the end of this episode. Until next time, my friends, peace.